Describe for us what the situation is from the monitors that you've seen of how bad the situation is there in Syria. Now we are uh, distributing our uh, groups over 16 uh, towns and villages in Syria. And uh, they are monitoring what is going there in a very honest uh, way. So we are uh, still uh, preparing ourselves to write our final, our final report by the end of this month. That means it will be uh, 19th, the first month of protocol between Syria and uh, uh, Arab leagues. And uh, I will be there and even to the Arab leagues ministers. What we've heard so far from some of the, the, the monitors there is that, and even from the Secretary of State, Hillary Clinton, is actually calling for the monitors to leave Syria right now because of the deteriorating situation. Is it, um, is it realistic to say that you are continuing and that you should continue? Yes, we are continuing. We are not having any information about what you are saying. We, have, we haven't received any uh, instruction from uh, Arab League uh, headquarters. We are doing our job same as we start. The, from the video that we seem to get from Syria, again, it's unconfirmed video, unverified video, shows that the violence is continuing. It is, uh, it's heightened now. There are also calls of potential civil war within the country. What are you seeing? Uh, I don't think it is uh, uh, there, there is a civil war now, but uh, uh, there is a lot of uh, interruption and uh, misunderstanding news, and there is uh, hit and run here and there. But uh, it is not a civil war, as they are saying. Do you do your monitors believe that the Syrian government, the the pre president al ba uh, Bashar al-Assad, is keeping his word? To, uh, uh, to uh, keeping his word to protect civilians and and cease fire on the crackdown on protesters. Uh, till now, there is some incidents for sure. There is a lot of incidents concerning this matter, but uh, I don't I don't uh, know that uh, somebody talks to you about this. But uh, as we are seeing, still the situation needs more 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 uh, uh, time so as to. Uh, to, uh, to be accurate about our report, and we will do it within the coming five days. But still, there is some some uh, some incidents here and there in all over Syria. So there are incidents that you're saying that the Syrian regime is cracking down on protesters. That's what you understand. Uh, I can't say exactly, but also the, the Syrian government saying that uh, some other sides are also doing some activities. But we are, we, are, we, are, we are monitoring. We are not going to be judged for them. We are just monitoring what is coming from here and what is coming from, from there. And we will report it to the Arab League's uh, ministerial committee. How can the Syrian people trust what your monitors are able to see and what they will report? Let us, be, let us wait up to 19th and we will see. Should they, could they, can they trust the Arab League monitors who are in the country who are supposed to be taking notes to see actually what is happening? Can the Syrian people trust your monitors? Uh, for the Syrians, everyone has, has their, his objectives. So those who are broad to the government and those who are uh, against the government. So it is very difficult to say. Yes, but your monitors are supposed to be uh, unbiased. They are supposed to be there to uh, see exactly what's going on without any influence from either side. That said, how can people trust that what the monitors will be reporting on will actually be accurate and uh, unbiased? So far, till now, we are doing our job without interference of any side. We are neutral and we are going to write our report exactly what we saw on in the ground so when can we expect this report sir 19th of this month